action. Hey guys, welcome to another video and in this video I would like to talk a little bit about batteries and a little information about these batteries. As you can see the, there's a lot of different types of batteries out there and a lot of different numbers, a lot of different information. So I just wanted to give, um, you know, just make a small video and just basic information about batteries, kind of what to look for and what they represent, what they mean. So let's begin. We're going to start with um, the nickel metal hydrides. These are 7.2s. So these particular batteries are going to be your standard size nickel metal hydride, as you can see here, 7.2. They're a six cell and uh, they're just rechargeable. So you just recharge them here at the uh, red and black end. They don't have a balance uh, connector because they're not LiPos. So this is a pretty standard battery. The only number that you're gonna be looking at here is the big number in the center of the battery, which represents capacity. So uh, this 2200 is gonna represent, let's say an approximate runtime, let's just say 15 minutes approximately, depending on what vehicle you're using. Um, and this one up here would be a 3000. So this means you'd get a little bit more runtime. And then they also make a 5000. So a 5000 is going to, it basically means that it's going to give you um, around double the capacity as a 2200, meaning like a lot more runtime. Depending on the model that you're using, the application, uh, it'll vary from anywhere from you know 20 minutes, half an hour to 45 minutes, even up to an hour. Uh, depending on what you're running. So if you're running something like a Tamiya tractor, a 5000 is going to give you a lot, a lot of runtime. And uh, but if you're running, let's say uh, 5000 on a um, on an RC brushed car, four by four, you're obviously not going to get you know uh, an hour runtime. You'd get just under that, but a lot more than uh, 2200. So yeah, that's pretty much it on the 7.2s, standard size nickel metal hydrides. They also make a uh, seven cell. So these here are 8.4. Um, so the ones that we have here in the video are 5,000. These are both 5,000 seven cell. They do make them in two different types. They make them like this, which is called a hump pack. So here's the uh, six cell and here's the seventh on top. Um, and then they also make them in like a flat pack, which they just throw the extra cell at the end. Um, and yeah, so this is also a 5,000. So this is going to be a good battery for anyone running uh, a vehicle that uses seven cell, which is 8.4. Um, so I know that some of the newer red cap cars are running 8.4 now, which is fantastic because, um, you know, they were running 7.2s before, but they still run 7.2s on some models. Now, um, like this, you would actually run on like, let's say like a, a Traxxas vehicle. They run these seven cell batteries, um, you know, and that's great because it gives you obviously a higher voltage, more power, and it's also going to give you uh, more runtime because it's a seven cell. So yeah, that's pretty much it on these. 5,000 is what I highly recommend. Okay, so, all right guys. So now I want to talk a little bit about LiPo. Now, LiPo is broken down into 2S, 3S, uh, 4S, 5S. The most commonly used battery in a 110 scale is going to be a 2S or, you know, a 3S if you're running brushless. Um, so we'll look into the most commonly used battery, which is going to be here. The This is a 2S. You can tell uh, by the voltage, 7.4 will always be a 2S. Um, and a 3S would look like this, like an 11.1, .1, so meaning a higher uh, voltage. Um, now, aside from the voltage, uh, you're going to look at, obviously, the big number, capacity, 5,000, very high capacity, a lot of runtime. And then you're also going to look at this little number here that's a C, that's a discharge rate. So it means the burst rate. When you hit the throttle, how much burst is it going to give you? Um, and that kind of does make a little bit of a difference if you're, you know, if you're racing someone or you're, you know, if you're having fun out there in the park, eh, it doesn't really matter uh, what the burst rate of it is. But if you do want the most amount of instant power, you would look for a higher discharge rate. To give you an example, uh, this 3S battery here, it says uh, 25C standard uh, burst rate. If you wanted more, you know, um, this... 2s lipo this is a different voltage of 2s but i just want you to see the discharge right here this is a 50c discharge so a higher discharge 
and then this particular one here is a 2s and then as you can see it's a 70c so that's a higher discharge uh, like a, a higher discharge a higher burst rate um, and then we have these as well which are 5,000 these are like race batteries with a hundred C discharge so these are super high discharge this is like a lot of uh, instant instant power instant boom that you're gonna get when you hit the throttle so these are kind of like your basic 2s batteries here so you got your 5,000 50 C discharge you got a 6,000 70 C higher discharge and then you have a 5,000 with a hundred C discharge so these are gonna be more of a racing type of battery and then the 3s you know like I was mentioning with the 3300 so this one here would be you know uh, average you know discharge and 33 is kind of on the lower side for especially for like a brushless vehicle um, I would kind of push more of a 5,000 so something like something like this here this particular one here is uh, a 5000 and it is a 3S because it's an 11.1 .1 battery, 11.1 uh, .1 volt, and also has the 25C discharge rate. So this would be a, a good 3S um, for a 110 uh, or even a 18 scale vehicle that runs a 3S or it's capable of running a 3S. Now, um, they also make bigger batteries. So for instance, this particular one here, if you ever see like one of these 8400s, like this number is really like it's really large, right? So it's a lot thicker. It's a lot bigger battery. So if your car can fit one of these batteries and it's brushless, I mean, this is going to give you a lot of runtime, uh, a lot of runtime. This is a 3S, as you can see here, and it's also pushing a higher discharge. So this is a 50C discharge. So this battery here is going to give you a lot of runtime and like the most amount of power for like a 110 one eight scale uh, vehicle depending on the model and make I'm I'm just kind of being non-specific um, another battery that is also made um, like this one here as you can see this is a 4s because it's 14.8 volts so let me see if I can just break them down here so 2s 7.4 3s is going to be 11.1 .1. And then 4S is going to be 11, uh, 4, sorry, 14.8 volts. This particular battery is a hard case. It's really heavy. It's a 5,000, but because it is a 14.8 volt, meaning 4S, it's going to be a really, really heavy battery. This would be something for a larger vehicle, something really heavy, something that can handle that much voltage. So yeah, that's pretty much it, you guys. Um, I hope this helps uh, anyone that had in any questions about batteries and kind of what to look for remember the big numbers what you want to look for for runtime and then the smaller numbers under the lipos represent the discharge the burst yeah guys if you have any questions at all about the batteries please leave a comment below and i'll try my best to answer all or any of your questions guys thanks for watching